morning, July 5th, 2011. I should say Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to my vlog. Well, my Linux install failed. That means it is not like my hardware, which doesn't surprise me because I don't really like my hardware. Uh, but Acer's a piece of shit. It's been a piece of shit since I bought it, but what do you expect? I only paid $200 for the computer. So, when you buy a rig for 200 bucks, it did its job. It, it saved the day when my when my Dell failed. Or my Dell. My uh, homemade computer failed. So that was nice of it. But other than that, it's a big piece of shit. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, because I'm not looking at the camera, I'm kind of looking at something else in the background that you can't really see because I'm not showing you. Um, where the frig did it go? Ah, I'm going to be installing this Ubuntu Studio. I downloaded the alternate AMD64 ISO, opening the Christ that this works. I'm just going to friggin' burn it to a disk. So we'll just hit the burn button. You guys couldn't see. So now it's just going to burn it with the Windows image burner. Sure, that's fine. Well, friggin' let her do that. I need a sagret, so I'm going to go outside and have a smoke, let that burn, and then try and install this Ubuntu Studio on a piece of shit gacer. And if it fails again, well, we always got work boots. What do I mean by that? Well, we can always kick the living shit out of it. So let's go outside and have a sagret. <laughs> and shit my pants. I still haven't mowed the front lawn, because, well, it's still looking kind of cocked. But look at this. I got a patch over here that is, like, just weird. I don't know what the heck's going on right here. I have to buy some of that seed and take care of it. So yeah, I have no idea what's going on there. It's probably just, like I said, the front yard's pretty damaged. I was thinking about buying that grass that you can pretty much grow anywhere. Tossing it on the front yard and seeing what happens. It might fix it. It might just put grass over top of grass. I don't know. I also realized that I sucked that mow in the backyard. Look at that, I got a friggin' a divider here. <laughs> oh man. Oh well. Oh well, it's not a big deal. But yeah, apparently I suck at mowing lawns, so now you know. And knowing's half the battle. So what do you guys think of my new closing? The new end video. Are you starting to rain for real? Oh shit. It's starting to rain. But um, yeah, I got rid of the old vlogging wall and I made something new for the ending. And I don't know, I kind of like it. Gives a new feel to when I'm like, keep on vlogging and I smash the camera. It's like I punch out your, your monitor. And it's like you're watching me on TV, so I don't know. Check it out. It'll be at the end of this video. It's already at the end of the yesterday's video. But if you just watch this video all the way through, you'll see what I'm talking about. Or you can skip to the end and watch it. I'd be sad. But I'd get over it. Anywho, I'm going to head her back inside. I'm just rambling. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. Sweet. It's finally done. Click. All right, well, let's smash this into this. And we'll see what happens. That DVD RAM drive has been friggin' up so bad. <laughs> sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Oh, it's just pissing me off. This computer sucks. Oh well. Well, with this here, uh, friggin'. Is it even spinning? Did I just crash my computer? Oh, no, it's going down. Alright, let's see if it'll auto load something. Oh, it's trying. It's trying. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Oh well. Apparently, it knows the alphabet. That's kind of funny. Come on, buddy. Give me an M. Give me an M. You can do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have to see what the hell's on this. Let's uh, we'll just friggin' figure this out and go with it. Friggin' right. Probably gonna have to boot off of this disc. I don't even know what the hell it's doing right now. Friggin' just weird. So far, so good. Seems to be going. But I'm gonna have one problem with this install of Linux, and that's my wireless adapter over here, the D-Link DW. What the hell is it called? DWA125. But I found a little YouTube video here which shows you how to install it. So that's friggin' awesome. I'm gonna actually try and go to the actual YouTube site for it and see if he is nice enough. See it, this guy here, VE3 Mbud, is nice enough to have. No, obviously not. He doesn't even have a link to where to download the driver. Shit. Okay, well. I'll, um, oh, there's a whole bunch on the side here, uh, but the same people, with the same people doing the same thing, so. Oh, I'm sure we'll get the Wi-Fi driver going. Looks like it's, uh, a common fault with Linux, but, uh, you can get it going, and I, I kind of need to. Well, the other option I have is I tether a network cable off the Acer, bring it up and around and over, and jack it into the old Dell here, and, uh, oh, it's got to be on that side, eh? It's going to look nasty. But anyway, I do that, and then I turn network sharing on on the old Dell, and use the Dell as sort of a router. Now, it's going to slow this thing right down to the balls, as far as internet surfing goes. 
But literally, I just want to use it for a video editing studio, so does it really matter? It's not going to be really on the internet, it's just going to be editing videos. So, I might have to go that route if I have too much of a hard time with this D-Link adapter. But, uh, we will see. We will. She. So while I wait for OG Slowly for this to go, I'm going to eat some Raisin Bran. And I don't know what the hell I'm going to do over here. Probably put some YouTubes on or something. Sounds like fun. I just frigged over two friggin' bowls of, uh, Raisin Bran. So, I'm going to have a wicked shit tonight. I think me and uh, Scruffleuffagus over here. Hey, Scruffy. Hey. Get away from there. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Speak. Okay. We're going to go inside. Once I get Ubuntu Studios installed and working, I'm going to have to figure out how to use the video editor as well. I don't think that's going to be easy, but uh, you never know. I figured out Sony Vegas in about three hours and figured out, well, Windows Movie Maker, it's not even, I don't even call it a video editor, but more like a video binder. But yeah, Magix took me about a little bit of time and Pinnacle was interesting, but I didn't really like it because I found it wasn't 16 bit, or sorry, wasn't 64 bit. So, not that I'm critical on that, but I like to use all my system resources. My priority thing will be to get the Wi Fi going, but I might run out of time today to do that. And have to do that tonight, which is not a big deal. But, uh, yeah, friggin' bull ish. So, well, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Look at that face. Oreo. Oreo. Look at that face. Look at that face. Puppy. Alrighty, so it's just installing the grub bootloader. <sighs> I don't know. We'll let it go and see what happens. I'm scared. Ew, finishing the installation. Look at it go. Oh, wait, it stopped. Installation is complete, so it is time to boot your into your new system. Make sure you remove the installing media so that you boot in your new system. Installing media has been removed. Close CD tray and hit continue. Gathering information, unmounting file system, black screen, bunch of crap, and tick tick reboot. We'll see what happens here. Oh, there's the big symbol that you never want to see. Oh geez. White screen or death. Let's see what we get. Uh 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 oh. Oh crap. Some bitch. I got a feeling it didn't work. Freaking hell. Great. Awesome. Didn't. No, oh, wait, maybe it's working. Maybe. 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 Uh, that doesn't look promising. Oh shit. It really doesn't look promising. No, Felix, it doesn't look promising at all. I know. I'm scared. I don't think it worked. God, I hate this computer. Piece of shit. Look at that. Look at that awesome operating system. Yeah, black screen. Remind me to set this computer on fire. Oh, that was an epic fail. Stupid piece of shit, Acer, being a piece of shit. Oh, I'll just uh, carry on using my Windows PC to edit. Friggin' ah, dog toys everywhere. Like, look at this. The dog has so many friggin' toys. And he just scatters them all around the room. Drives me nuts. Gah! It's like having a child. Well, it's 3.30, time to go to work. Friggin' balls. Gotta grab my case for you guys. So... Makes it a little easier to transport you around. Don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with this Acer. Probably just gonna rebuild Dad's old computer, I guess, that one down there, and use it for a Linux box, because it'd be a hell of a lot more reliable than that piece of shit, let me tell you. And yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. Well, I'm heading out, so friggin' let's do this. Alrighty, just heading to work now. Oh man. Today is a brutal day out. It's so friggin' warm and it was trying to rain, but then it stopped, so I don't friggin' know, guys. I don't friggin' know. Oh, that was for sale. But, uh, yeah. Still gotta do my review on these glasses. So far, I'm really enjoying them. I don't know what you guys think of them. They sure do make vlogging while driving that much easier. But, uh, there's a bunch of these types of cameras out there that you can get. These, uh, spy cams and glasses cams. Deal Extreme has another style and they're a lot more expensive and they record in MOV format and they have memory built in already. And MOV format's nice because it's already pre-compressed. Only problem is, is there's only a, like Windows Movie Maker, I don't believe will work with MOV format. But I know a lot of uh, people out there use the Windows Movie Maker because it's cheap, you know, being free, and it does the job. Me, I like to have a little bit more VFX and control over my videos, so Windows Movie Maker never cut it for me. Oh well, teach their own, right? Teach their own. Let's see how bad gas prices are today. There's a 
Buck twenty nine yesterday and it never changed. Eh? Yet yeah, still buck twenty nine. Freaking hell. Dollar nineteen for diesel. So Rex four by four went down to the local, uh, to a local I should say, uh, grocery store on Sunday night. I think it was. I think he said. Can't remember now. And it was during a really bad shad fly storm. And uh, the, the grocery store is located on our Lakeshore Drive, which is a prime location for shad flies. Well, the freaking guy went down there and uh, wearing a white shirt, stood underneath the street light and made a video called the shad fly shirt or shad fly suit. I'll post a link in the uh, description. Go check it out. It's, uh, uh, you know, if you're, if you're kind of twitchy with bugs and all, I don't recommend it, but uh, if you can uh, if you can take that kind of stuff I recommend checking it out it's pretty uh, pretty insane I'm watching it and I, you can just see him like every once in a while he's super time-lapse in the video and he just starts twitching and you can just tell that he's just itchy from the crawlies because when those little bastards stick to you they don't just stick to you they crawl all over you like they'll walk around a little bit but oh it's so disgusting I friggin' hate them. I don't even know why I bother grabbing my cell phone today. Like, friggin' thing doesn't even work. I guess I can play video games on it or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll try that Viber. Apparently, apparently you can text from Wi-Fi because right now my iPhone's just an iPod Touch with a no service sign on it. She's a muggy one out today, boys. Muggy as hell. I think what I'm gonna do is drive this car till shad fly season's over. Well, during the day they're not too bad. It's at night when things get rough. That's when the uh, the bugs come out but the problem with the shad flies is it's not just the shad flies you have shad flies then you have those little baby shad flies like the, I, I call them pre shads but some people call them mayflies and then you have the uh, mosquitoes it's like holy shit you got three bugs attacking you and one of the three actually bites you or stings you or whatever the hell the mosquitoes do I guess they sting you eh? it's friggin brutal but yeah go check out Rex's video unless bugs make you squirmish then uh, I recommend not checking it out because uh, when you see the amount of shad flies he picks up in such a short time, I think he said he was only out there for 10 minutes and uh, he picked up a shit ton of shads. His daughter was with him and his daughter did a little run through the park with her camera or through the parking lot with her camera and did, did, a, did her own version of the video for her channel. So, yeah, it was, uh, we've been talking about wanting to do that for a while, but we never did. We were thinking about buying those painter outfits, those big white painter outfits and then just friggin' have an adder. But uh, we uh, never really did it. And then just one night Rex was driving home and he saw the shads and went, oh God, oh God, oh God, gotta do that. And he did it. And he's crazy. I questioned how many shads he ate. He wouldn't tell me. <laughs> Leave a comment on his video about that. Ask him how many shads he ate. Ooh, hot tub sales. I like tubs that are hot. Holy shit, look at that load on that truck. That is going to topple. I am not pulling beside that guy. He takes a nice right turn and that load is everywhere but on the back of that truck. I wonder if he's aware. <sighs> no matter how many bungee cords he uses, that does not look like a safe load. Oh man, this Focus is going to get annihilated by that load. Is it just me or since I've got these uh, son of a bitching glasses, did all the hot chicks go and hide? I don't see them walking on the streets anymore. You know, like, every time I vlog, I'm sitting there saying, Oh, yeah, you know, that's what I love about summer. All the hot chicks. And now that I can actually film them, or son of a bitch record them, as Pug would say, um, they're not around. It's like they got the memo and ran and hid. Ah, oh, well, still plenty of summer left. I just still can't get over that load on that transport. That's just ready to topple over and take out that Nissan right there. Holy shit. That is brutal. Yeah, get in the other lane, buddy. Do that. I seriously don't want to be eating your uh, cargo. Oh, this is going to be a long-ass video. I'm doing the whole drive to work. All right, I'm just going to squeeze by you, bud. Don't mind me. I probably could actually do a full channel with just these son-of-a-bitch glasses. Do like a 13 more death car vlogger guy. <laughs> I wouldn't call it 13 more death, but you know what I'm saying. Anybody coming? We're clear, we're clear. Let's do this. Alrighty, and we're at work, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well guys, it's lunchtime and it's friggin' windy out. Well, what's new, right? Now I'm gonna go and get myself something to eat. 
don't know what yet. Doubt you guys can even hear me. I've been playing on this thing called Cafe Press for most of the night. Well, for what little bit of time I to play with it. Basically, it allows you to build shirts and sell shirts, and you can, uh, they do all the work for you. You just design the shirt, put it on your storefront. You want to mark up the price, you mark up the price to make a little bit of money on the side, and uh, they do all the hard work. You know, printing them and sending them out. Then you tell people to go check out your storefront and you can sell shirts. I don't know, I'll put the idea out there. If people buy, cool. If they don't, well, it's not like I lost any money on it. It's just all for fun. Anywho, it's probably too windy. You guys probably have no idea what I said. You probably just saw my mouth move. I'm gonna friggin' do this and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, well, I just had lunch. I had a sandwich and a soup and I'm feeling pretty damn good right now. I made my shirt. I'm gonna put a link to my little web store thingy from uh, the site there, that cafe press in the in the description below. And if you guys want to check it out, see the stupid shirt I made. I'm probably gonna make some stickers too. I guess I don't know, frig. I'm just gonna do it. And if they sell, sweet. If they don't, oh well, whatevs. I know a lot of you are saying, hey Adam, why don't you just talk to Bill C. Max and get him to make you stickers? Well. You know, Bill works a daily job. I don't know how many hours he puts in in a day, but you know, plus he's making stickers for Pug One, and God knows what else he does on the side. He also he's making his own YouTube videos. The guy's probably busier than all shit, so I don't want to trouble him to make stickers on this site. I can just make a template oh, in uh, Photoshop, and uh, I'm loving this. People are just watching me vlog, and they're like all freaked out. Anyway. So uh, you can just make a template for your video, and or for your video, son of a bitch. Make a template for your uh, sticker and just post it right on the uh, site. And they do all the friggin' all the labor. It's beautiful. All you have to do is promote it. Like, how can you go wrong with that? Just promote your product and uh, if people buy it, cool if they don't, whatever. You're not out any material, you're not out any storage, you don't have to go to the post office and send out the shirts, you don't have to do jack shit. Uh, they do everything for you. You just have to design it, make sure it abides by copyright laws, and pitch the some bitch up the U uh, up to a cafe press. They take care of the rest, and you can just promote your say your your gear. So thinking about designing a ball cap too, because I've always wanted a ball cap. I don't know, designing some other stuff. Actually, I was thinking about designing a James Reddy shirt because uh, or a ball cap or something, just so I could hammer down on that. But uh, yeah, great little site for uh, making a making some gear to help promote yourself on the internet or just to have fun and you know you can buy your own gear too if you want. Hell why go to Walmart and buy a shirt that says something on it when you can just produce it yourself and freaking have at her. Wait for them to ship it to you and you're done. I love that. Well, I'm gonna head her back inside. My lunch break's probably well overdone and uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys at uh, Shadvasion. That's what I'm calling the invasion tonight because I know we're gonna get them. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen hardcore. Talk to you guys at uh, 1030. Bye! Huh. I don't know how well you guys can see all the shads on that window. <coughs> or even on that door. There's the uh, shadows of them. Oh, I don't want to go out there. Look at the pavement. It's covered in shads. It's going to suck. So you can see the odd stray one over there. Odd stray over there. Still won't turn off that light for me. Whole shit ton over there. And that light is just polluted. Yeah, friggin' awesome. Oh, I hate these things. They're so disgusting. Maybe, what, a week and a half left and they should all be gone, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Alright guys, it's midnight, it's time to go home, so I'm gonna friggin' hammer down and hit her home. So, let's do that. Alright guys, I'm home now, so figured I'd have a sagrit in the garage. Ah, uh, so, yeah, pretty slow night tonight, but that's alright. Drove by the Hortons on my way home, nobody was out for coffee, so I said screw it and just came straight home. So I'm probably gonna end the vlog here, but not without a couple little updates. I'm getting a lot of people asking me about, uh, uh, asking me about live shows. When's your next live show, Adam? Well, 
To be honest with you, I don't have any idea when the next live show will be. Here's the problem. Um, I don't like doing them by myself. I usually like to have people with me and I don't know, like with Adrian working the new job, he's always busy, so he never has time to really do anything on the weekend. And if he did do a live show, he couldn't drink, so I don't know if he'd enjoy himself as much. So he's not really interested in doing one anytime soon. I'm not really interested in doing, well, I am interested in doing one, but I don't know if it's feasible. Um, so when's the next live show? You got me beat. Um, probably when we get YouTube Live. You know, partnered accounts get YouTube Live. I'm still waiting for mine. Once I get that, I'll probably do a live show by myself. Just uh, sit in the garage and friggin' talk to myself. Yeah, because that won't get me locked up. But, uh, yeah, so, live show, you'll know. I'll be mentioning it in vlogs when it's gonna happen. But as for now, there is no live show planned for the near future. Now, this thing. We're gonna try and do some repair on it. I gotta fix my friggin' cog down here. My shifter. You probably can't see it because it's too dark and flip camera suck in low light. But, um, I gotta fix my shifter because it slipped when I took it out for a quick romp in the backyard. I'm sorry I didn't videotape it. But now that I have the son of a bitch glasses, huh? See where I'm going now? I can uh, do some recording on the field. So if we go out off-roading, I can do a little bit of son of a bitch recording with them. Plus I have my other son of a bitch recorder and, you know, tons of little pocket cameras I can slap all over the piece of crap and just friggin' have a blast with it. But I was thinking about using the old welder to basically weld the face of it like it was before. What the frig was that? Anyway, I thought a raccoon was dicking with my garbage. Let's gonna get the airsoft gun out. It's a raccoon. Better watch out, because I'm packing heat in the form of a styrog. I will spray and pray his face. But anyway, um, the frick was I talking about? I can't remember now. Son of a bitch. Anyway, but uh, I think I'm just going to end the video here. Um, Big Red needs some work. I'm going to try and fix it. Um, live shows, no none planned for the near future. That about covers all that. So if you like today's video, you know the routine, go ahead and hit the like button. You know me, I like it when you hit the like button. Let's me know you like the video and I like that. Any questions, comments, or concerns about today's video, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And what did you guys think about the new ending video? You like that? You don't like that? I worked pretty hard on that. So hopefully you like it. And until next time, guys, keep on blogging.